In the meantime, I'll stay on Riddler's tail. Hey, hey, hold up a sec. What Riddler said in there about the agency, smoke and mirrors, you ask me. But the thing about Lucius Fox and the blast at Wayne Tower? You gotta level with me. You got some connection with that Wayne Tech guy you didn't tell me about? Lucius Fox was an ally of mine. That got him killed. I gotta say, the fact I had to learn about it from Riddler instead of you, it doesn't sit right with me at all. I thought we had some trust, you and I. What do you expect me to do with this? Am I just supposed to sit on my hands? Pretend I never heard any of it? Jim, what you're asking, there's no easy way to talk about it. Yeah, I gathered that much. I mean, I wasn't born yesterday. I know you probably have a network of civilians working for you. You can't do the kinds of things you do without a gigantic support system. And as much as I understand your reluctance to talk, it doesn't make me feel any better about this. Batman. I'm sorry for your loss. your discussion with Commissioner Gordon. Now he knows that Lucius Fox and the Batman are, were, allies. Gordon's dangerously close to figuring out who you are. If he does find out, I have no idea how he'll react. It's not a chance you can afford to take. Worrying about it won't help anything. Neither will being Cavalier. You were radio silent for so long. Tell me, did you find out how Lucius died? This is a missile I found in Riddler's workshop. The explosion at Wayne Tower. We were thinking about it all wrong. The puzzle wasn't an explosive. It was an emitter. When it was solved, it emitted a signal. You heard it earlier. If allowed to play too long, it becomes a large signal. Dear God, you did solve the box. We just didn't know it. The Batcave Scrambler blocked the signal. Poor Lucius. Wayne Tower offered no such protections. Our tight little family has gotten smaller because of it. It was the three of us looking out for each other. Now it's two. With Lucius gone, we need to find someone to take over his role. No one could ever fill his shoes. But, but you're right. Between the Lady Arkham affair and losing Lucius in this gruesome fashion, it's clear we're up against a new class of criminal. This war of ours, it may be too much for us on our own. The list of agency operatives from Riddler's workshop. He plans to do the same thing to them. It's a hit list. It's only useful if he has a way to target the agents, though. And I doubt he's sending them all puzzle boxes. Hold on, let's just walk through it. He's hacked their cell phones. He could pinpoint the location of any one of these operatives. broadcast his signal through their phone to make them a target of a missile strike.
Can you block it? If I can get a clean copy of the signal, yes. It's the only way I can get a clean version of the signal. It's pretty grim, Alfred. You don't have to watch. I can handle it. I've never been one to shy away from duty, however unpleasant it may be. Actually, Al, I'm gonna do this part on my own. Why don't you, uh, why don't you get us some tea while we work? Well, if you insist, Bruce. Bruce, get my daughter out of the building. Get yourself out. What are you talking about? What did you figure out? I've... I've solved the Riddler's puzzle, Bruce. Tell Tiffany that I love her. That I'm sorry I wasn't around more. Let's just... We really made a difference, didn't we? That man? Alright. Now we just need to create a filter to get a clean version of the signal and then match up the points found in both sound files. Dwayne. Batman? No. The two sounds have to be the same. Tiffany. Tiffany. The Sable. The Sable. That's not it. Now the sounds have to match for this to work. Tiffany. Tiffany. That's a match. Bruce. Bruce! The waveforms match. There. I've piggybacked on a Riddler's cell phone hack. They'll recognize any incoming signal match and shut down, negating a launch. Makes sense for me to have the signal on me as well. What for? Riddler still has functioning missiles. Once he finds out I've blocked his targets, he may decide to launch indiscriminately. But with the signal, I might be able to divert them. Tiffany gave me this the day Lucius died. Let's put it to good work. It's not a theory I really want to test. So we had better find Riddler first. There is always Riddler's second in command. Eli Mabel, arrested after his attack on the casino. None of the authorities have gotten anything out of him yet. Unknown contact. What is it? That John guy from the funeral from Arkham. Who actually sounds like he's keeping his word. Mori, huh? John thinks that Mori can get us Riddler's location. Do you believe him? Maybe we should go back to the beginning. Bring Rumi Mori up on the back computer. Either of them could potentially lead me to him. The question is, which is more likely to help you? Maury's a businessman. Given the right incentive, he could be persuaded to talk. 
He sure can't have any love for Riddler after his attempted murder at the casino. I'd say he'd respond better to a more genteel approach, peer-to-peer -peer as Bruce Wayne. However, the agency is watching him. If Waller finds out that Bruce Wayne sought a parley with Mori, she'll not be best pleased. On the other hand, Riddler's lieutenant, Eli Nabel, took a go at me in the casino. Put up quite a fight. Cracking him will be tougher, more physical. Certainly a job for Batman. He's currently in Waller's custody in a GCPD holding cell. Interrogating Nabel there would be a visible endorsement of Waller's authority. Gordon won't like it. I'll meet with Maury. I'm sure Bruce Wayne can find a way to reason with him. Waller's people are here, watching Mori. Riddler's agency data should make him easy to tag. I need you to keep an eye on him for me. Maybe cause a distraction if I need it. All this attention must be annoying to a man like Mori. They're following his every move. Gotta be careful here. I see them. All of these agents were on Riddler's list. Even without access to their phones, he'll still try to kill them all somehow. No time to waste. Mr. Wayne, to what do we owe this honor? Good evening, Mr. Mori. I've come to talk. Your visit is unexpected, Mr. Wayne. What can I do for you? A private matter between friends. There's something you can help me with, Mr. Mori. It's a matter of some importance. I doubt I can do much. The authorities are watching my every move. Apparently, I'm a person of interest. There's really not much I can offer you other than a drink and a seat at the roulette wheel. Not while I'm being shadowed. We need privacy. Lose the agents. Done. They just got an order to sweep the perimeter. Should give you a couple of minutes at least. Impressive, Mr. Wayne. <laughs> we haven't even scratched the surface. What can I do for you? Information. About the Riddler. Why would I do that? You sold the Riddler weapons that killed one of my oldest friends. Lucius's blood is on your hands. That was never my intent. I'm sorry for your loss. There's an easy way to make up for it. <sighs> I dealt with that maniac, it's true. But I was done after the first delivery. Riddler wanted more. Everything he could get his hands on. He even wanted me to hand over one of my biotech companies. I said no. That's why he attacked you? 
You have no idea how crazy he is. I only wish I had known it sooner. Actually, I have a pretty good idea. I see that you do. He scared me. I was afraid he'd use my goods in the city. After the explosion at Wayne Enterprises, it turns out I was right. I want you to know, I had no idea the Riddler had marked you as a target. I knew your father back when he was running Gotham. Our interests often aligned. I would never dishonor his memory. He was a friend, truly one of a kind. Then you owe me, for my father's sake. <laughs> that was a long time ago, and favors go both ways. I can help you find the Riddler, Mr. Wayne. I sold him the missile array he's using to pick off his enemies. He won't be very far from it. Everything you need to find him is on that drive. But I need a favor from you first. A favor? Walla has me detained here pending Riddler's trial. She controls all my accounts. I need to get out of the country, and in all haste. You can help with that. Otherwise, I fear my fate is a short, miserable life in a black prison. I could do that for you. I knew I could count on your friendship. A chartered plane waits for me at the airport. The pilot will fly me to a safe haven in the Caribbean for the right price. All you have to do is authorize a transfer. You don't want me as an enemy, Mr. Wayne. Our agency friends will be back any second. Let's handle this quickly and without disturbance. Done. Send me a postcard from the beach. Thank you, Mr. Wayne. I owe you a great debt. If this ever comes to light, I'll keep your name out of it for as long as I can. Thank you. Be careful, Mr. Wayne. That lunatic is not to be trifled with. Now, I suggest you make yourself scarce before our agency friends return. Alfred, I've sent you Maury's information. Find me Riddler's location, and fast. The Lady of Dublin. Which is? A cargo ship in Gotham Bay. Good. Send me the location. And let Gordon know. Tell him Batman's on the way. Imbeciles really thought you could ensnare me. You and your boss, Waller. So foolish. She's about to regret her miscalculations. All your we found him. too. 
Mori's information turned out to be accurate. Institutionally. No sight of the missiles yet, though. They must be here somewhere. Decisions. Your agency has been on my heels far too. Hostages. They appear to be more of Waller's agents. Relentless. I'll admit it's going to feel satisfying to get my revenge. A good spot for cover. Even if you're really just a small part of the plan. What are you talking about? You'll see what I mean soon, of course. They might be angry I brought you here, but when they understand why, they'll recognize my brilliance. <laughs> After all, I am uniquely qualified to see the big picture. Wait Talk for it. struggle making people see that. You think? I'm sure you can understand. I get it. Sometimes my methods can appear a little unorthodox. You brought this on yourselves. All of you. You government clods really thought you were smart. It's clear you're in desperate need of some schooling. My friends will be here soon. I'd keep your mouths shut until then. Hostages first. When they're safe, I can find the missiles. Targeting online now. Ready, Bruce. Let the hostages go, Riddler. You can't possibly think clunking a few heads is enough to make me roll over. Sized vermin! Batman! Batman! Agent Avesta. The floor! It's heating up! Are you all right? your playbook, Batman. I know all your shallow tricks. Maury was incapable of learning his lesson. I knew he'd lead you to me eventually. All part of the plan. The missiles. Bait. Just like the hostages were bait. I knew you couldn't bear to let these agents die. <laughs> you care too much about the little people. That makes you weak. I saw how you saved Maury. I saw how angry you got about what happened to Fox. Don't think my compassion means I won't hurt you. Don't think I won't beat you within an inch of your life. Hard to do that when you're in a cage. Even harder, when you're dead. My partners were supposed to be here to see this. I guess I can just show them the bodies. I'm going to ask you three questions. Get them wrong, one of these agents gets torn apart. You won't get away with this. You get them right? This happens! I designed this for you, Batman. The hero who saves people will die knowing he couldn't save everyone. Let's get started. We have a lot to get through. I'm curious to see how you'll handle it all! It's me you want, not Agent Avesta. Let her go! Oh no, she needs to be in there with you. 
You can handle the sonic blasts. But her... I estimate three blasts at most before her insides rupture. This one should be easy, Batman. Close to the heart. I solved a puzzle box for the bat. Now I'm dead. And I mean dismembered. Closed casket for sure kind of dead. Who am I? If you know the answer, please say it. My colleagues will die at... Lucius. What was that? I couldn't hear you. Lucius Fox. Very good, Batman. You saved a life. But... Thank you. Batman, don't answer any more of his questions. No, Blake. I won't let you die. Number two. Also, completely self-evident. I am black and blue and bleeding from the ears. Who am I? I think... I think he means me. Say it. Don't you dare answer that! Please, don't let him die. Say it! I need an answer. I'll give you the answer, but only if you free us. <laughs> You don't get it. I make the rules. Not you! Please! No! Avesta, please! Please! Blake! Oh my god, Blake! Enough, Riddler. You've made your point. Just one more, Batman. And then it'll all be over. I'll distract him. Just get us out of here. I'm the sharpest mind you'll ever meet. The original genius with Gotham at my feet. Who am I? You're Riddler. Riddler's the genius. Well done, Agent. You answered so quickly, you almost deserve not to get the blast. You're much too slow, Batman. I think we're through. Use the bat cam to make it hard to the cage. And use Riddler's trap to protect Emon and myself from the explosion. I like what you're saying, Agent Avesta, but you're not the one I need to hear it from. Missile armed. Ready to fire. Who's the genius, Batman? Who's on top of Gotham now? I want to hear it from you. I am. What are you doing? You're clever, don't you? You... Huh? 
Who's the man who's got no time left? The Riddler. Thought you'd get such an easy one right. The answer is Batman. Can't be happening. Batman, I... Blake and I tracked Riddler's ship through the Port Authority logs. We thought we could bring him in ourselves. Riddler snatched us straight off the docks. I should have said no. Urged caution. And now... And now my colleagues are... All we did was hand Riddler more hostages. We only made things worse. Not true. I wouldn't have been able to stop him without you. Thank you, Batman. It's good to know we've got Riddler in custody. Despite the cost. It's over, Riddler. Look forward to a padded cell. Is this really a victory for you, Batman? You're the one in cuffs. Yeah, but you're the one that broke your precious rules. You let one agent die to save another. <laughs> well, that can't sit right with you. Can it? Must be an uncomfortable feeling. Agent Avesta will understand. I had to protect her. Oh, yes. Had to protect the lady. Mm. Let the gruff government man die. Ooh, what a hero. I pushed the Batman to his limits. Tested his precious code. Uh, and my comrades would have been impressed. I set this all up to show them. They'd back me up, even if they didn't agree. They, they left me here to deal with you alone. They, they betrayed me. They didn't come. Your comrades thought you went too far. I saw their messages. They were afraid your stunts would get my attention. They were right. They'll regret this. All of them. Unless that white-faced prick set me up. Never told them to meet me here. He... I... They... They broke the pact. The pact?
the ship down. And radio for more medics. But Riddler, is he? Oh, God damn it. Oh, this isn't good, Batman. The investigation is a dead end without a breathing suspect. We're in trouble. A lot of trouble. I have no idea how we're getting out of it. You don't have to worry, Jim. I'll take the heat for this. Now, I appreciate the thought, but that ain't gonna cut it. Oh, Waller is gonna come down on us like a thunderbolt. Thunderbolt? I'm the whole goddamn hurricane! I'm about to blow both your asses off the side of this ship. This is a goddamn mess. Agent Blake is dead. Riddler is dead. And I don't know exactly how, but I know you tampered with my suspect at the casino. Unless you expect me to believe that Maury got out of Gotham all by himself. Batman is clearly being misused as an asset to the GCPD. I'm taking direct control of law enforcement in Gotham, effective immediately. What? Gordon, you're being relieved of your stars. Bumped down to deputy ops. You can't demote me. I just did. Don't like it? Go cry to the governor. I generously let this cowboy crap with the Batman go on out of respect. I'm loyal to Gordon Waller. Don't expect me to start taking your calls. I'm not asking you for your cooperation, Batman. I'm ordering it. When you understand what we're facing, you'll come around. Take some vacation days, Gordon. I've got sensitive case details to discuss with Batman. We're still in this together, Batman. This doesn't change a thing. This city is about to find itself in a crisis the likes of which it's never known. Riddler had a clue. Not just any crew. The worst criminal minds from all over the world, here in Gotham. You come across anything about them? I'm assuming you've heard of them by now. Let me know if you have anything to share. There's a guy. Calls himself John Doe. He's either a member, or he knows who is. That confirms some theories we had. Doe's a one-time patient of another member of the group. Dr. Harleen Quinzel, former psychiatrist at Arkham Asylum. She's very elusive. Keeps her head down. Much more so than that show-off Riddler. He was going to be my way in once we captured him alive. But now I have you to lean on. A man who lives on both sides of the line. And knows exactly when to cross it. Yes. You and I will be working together very closely. Bruce Wayne.